And now I'd ask for Raymond Hendricks, our Synod Treasurer, uh, and also Cindy Davis, the Chair of Finance, to come to the podium to present to you the proposed budget uh, for the Assembly for the coming year. I want to share with you that that budget pie chart can be found in the documents section of the website, on the white paper, in the packet, or you can scan the QR code. The uh, agenda calls for the Treasury report as well as the budget. I'll give the Treasury report first. Greetings to y'all from the Treasury. And I would like to thank a few people for their support, my wife and Cindy and Charlene. All of these work towards making the budget and working on the budget, and Charlene pays the bills. And we give her thanks for that. And the Treasurer's report is found in the bulletin of the report, starting on page 55. And we will begin the audit this coming week. And I'm hoping that they will find the financial statements in order. I give thanks for all of you for mission support. Sometimes we lag behind in mission support. Uh, one thing about inflation, it uh, bad on our expenses. The expenses go up. But mission support never is affected by the inflation. It stays the same. And it's hard to pay bills with the expenses going up or not going up. So I urge you all to help with our mission support. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he says, Now you are the body of Christ. And each one of you is part of it. Blessing to you all, Raymond Hendricks, Treasurer. And now for the budget. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers in Christ. My name is Cindy Davis. I'm an active member of the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer in Charleston. And it's a pleasure to serve you all as the South Carolina Senate Finance Committee Chairperson. Today, I present to you the proposed 2024-2025 fiscal year budget for the Senate for the South Carolina Senate of the ELCA. This proposed budget has been developed and prepared by the hard work of our Senate accountant, Ms. Charlene Fink, as Raymond said, our Senate Treasurer, Mr. Raymond Hendricks and a very active group of the members of the Senate Finance Committee. Latanya is one of them. We believe it reflects a realistic picture of our expected congregational support. And therefore, we as, let's see, I as um, on behalf of the South Carolina City Council, move to recommend the proposed, the proposed budget in the amount of $2 445,000 for the fiscal year February 1st, 2024 to January 31st, 2025 for adoption by this South Carolina Senate Assembly for 2023. Thank you. Are there any we, questions? We are presenting the budget today so that all of y'all can think about it and we will vote on it Saturday morning. All right. Thank you. Would ask if there's any questions. Since this is proposed by the Finance Committee and the Senate Council, there's no need for a second. I would ask, uh, again, we will be voting on this on Saturday, so there's no, there's no um, vote at this time on the budget. Thank you both. Can you help me? <laughs> At this time, I'd like to ask uh, Deacon Lexan Graves, uh, who serves as our Vice President, to uh, come to the podium and offer to us the proposed 2024 Compensation Guidelines for Rostered Minister. Thank you, Bishop Jenny. On behalf of the Senate Council, uh, I am presenting to you the 2024 Compensation Guidelines for Rostered Ministers for review at this time. 
We will vote on them on Saturday morning. Uh, they can be found in the Bulletin of Reports, pages 89 to 118, or in the Documents tab on secsynod.com, or uh, in your paper packets. It is a green piece of paper. Those are being presented at this time. Bishop Jenny? Are there any questions or any comments that need to be made from the floor? Okay, then thank, thank you. you very much.